Hello and welcome back to C Programming Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about how to write a C program to read the marks of a student from a keyboard and inform whether the student is pass or fail using if else condition. So first, we should know that what are the range of a mark. So let's say we will say 0 to 100. And second thing, what is the passing mark? So passing marks equal to, let's say 35. Now here, first I will write a simple C program that will work. And then I will tell you how you can improve that C program for better accuracy. So let's start with our variable. So we will use a unsigned integer unsigned because we need only positive number so unsigned integer and let's give variable name as marks and let's initialize to zero now we will use a printf statement and ask a user to enter the marks so whatever marks user will enter that we need to store into our variable so the variable is marks so we will say the address of marks so after this whatever value user will enter that I, that is going to be stored into the marks now next the logic is very simple if this marks is greater than or equal to 35 that means what the student is pass you have pass else what we will say you have fail so here we will write a statement printf you are pass and if the marks enter number or marks is out of this range we will say that you are fail so let's run the code and see the output so here it asks that enter the marks let's say i will enter a 75 and it says that you are pass now let's try again and enter the mark which is less than 35 let's say i will enter 34 and it says that you have failed okay it's look like it's running good but if i enter the number which is out of the range i will enter uh, 125 and if i will check it says that you have passed but the number that we have entered is invalid so what we need to do we need to add a protection over here what we can say if the marks is between 0 and 100 then only this should, this should work or else we can say that it's an invalid number so you can do in many ways so first you can do it over here if the marks is greater than or equal to 0 and marks is less than or equal to 100 then only this condition should be checked right else what we need to do we need to say that else printf enter marks is invalid so now let's run this and let's check that again i will again enter the 125 and it says that entered marks is invalid so this is the way you can improve the code and one more thing you can do let's say in future instead of 0 to 100 or you want to change the passing mark and let's say this is a very big code and if you want to do it very quickly so every time you need to change all this number and instead of doing this today i will tell you how you can use has defined macros to do so, so let's define this zero as zero so what it will do whenever we will write this zero it will replace with the value zero similarly let's say i will call maximum mark as let's say 100 and then 
we will use another as defined that is for passing mark so passing mark is let's say a 35 for now okay and then what we can do we can replace all this variable so here we will say that it should be between these two and what is our passing mark that will be over here okay fine now let's first check this again so if i will run this again it will ask and let's say i will enter 36 yet it says that you are passed it is fine but now let's say we want to change our logic instead of 0 to 100 i want to use 0 to 70 instead of passing mark as 35 i want to set it 23 so in this simple way you can set this so let me show you first i will clear the screen and let me show you run okay let's enter uh, 23 so it should say that you are passed and then let's enter some less value let's say 17 you have fail and let me enter the out of range value that says 71 so it says that enter mark is invalid so this is how you can write a simple c program with if else and has defined macros thank you so much for watching this video